an improvement pill here. I believe that living an exciting and interesting life is important. Because when you're doing the same thing every single day and there's nothing new going on in your life, your brain will start to go on autopilot more often. It stops focusing on the present moment. It starts creating less memories and time starts flying by faster and faster. I think you should strive to live a more interesting and exciting life, not because it looks cool on social media, but because it will make you feel like you're actually living life to its fullest, a life with less regrets. It's also going to make you into a more memorable person, someone that others will want to get to know. So let's jump right into it. Now, there are two main reasons why you are boring. The first is that you always look to the masses for inspiration on what to do. This is something that I often see when it comes to dance. There are literally thousands and thousands of different dance moves out there. But when it comes to dance, there are always trends, styles of dance that are popular, and specific moves that are popular. For example, recently we had the floss. The floss is a dance move invented by someone known as the Backpack Kid. After performing his move on stage with Katy Perry on Saturday Night Live, it soon became a viral sensation. The video got tens of millions of views and suddenly people all around the world were learning how to floss. Now the thing about the floss is that it is a very interesting move. I had never seen anything like it before, so I do have to commend the Backpack Kid on his creation. But when it became viral, all of a sudden, everyone and their grandma picked up the move. Everywhere I went, parties, clubs, outside events, anywhere there was music, people were doing the floss. Now, don't take this the wrong way. It's better to be dancing to music than to not be dancing at all. But when everyone is doing the same move, it becomes boring. Dance is about unique expression, how the music makes your body feel. That's why in most cases, watching people dance is interesting because you get to see the unique way they interpret the music. But if you jump on the dance floor and you spam the floss, you're just doing something that everyone else is doing. It's no longer unique expression. It's predictable. It's boring. There are literally thousands of other moves that you could have learned, but you chose to learn to floss and probably not because you thought it was an accurate expression of how music makes you feel, but because everyone else was doing it. And this doesn't only apply to dance moves. For a lot of us, almost all of what we do is dictated by what we see others do. We all go to college because everyone else does. We all try to save up and buy a car or a house because that's what everyone else does. We travel to the same places around the world for our holidays because that's what everyone else does. Now, there's nothing wrong with looking to others for inspiration once in a while. That's human nature. But when all you're doing is what everyone else is doing, you by definition become boring. The only way to combat this is to start doing things that you genuinely want to do. Which brings us to reason number two for why you are boring. I want you to imagine for a second a circle. And within this circle are all the things that you are familiar with. Places, activities, people, jobs, etc. All of these things are things that you feel totally fine doing or interacting with. This is your comfort zone. The second reason why you are boring is because you are scared of venturing outside of this zone. You aren't quite sure what will happen when you go out and try that new thing or talk to that new person or go to that new place. There's a chance that you might get rejected or you might mess up or you might look like a fool and that can be a bit scary. In order to start doing the things that you want to do so that you can become more interesting, you must first learn how to muster up the courage and venture outside of your comfort zone. And there really isn't a trick that I can teach you to do this. You just have to face your fear and take the leap and understand that even if you fail or if you mess up, that it's all a-okay. It's not the end of the world. But hey, you managed to step outside your comfort zone, so regardless of what happens, at least you are now more courageous than you were before. The secret to becoming less boring is to learn how to venture outside of your comfort zone so that you can try and experience new things that you genuinely want to do. The more things you experience, the more unique stories you will have. The more you will learn about the world, the more you will have seen, which in turn will develop your character and make you into a more interesting person. Which brings us to the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. One of the easiest ways to start venturing outside of your comfort zone is by learning new things, and Skillshare is perfect for this. They offer classes on just about anything you can think of, ranging from classes on creative writing, all the way to classes on how to take care of your garden plants. 
Make 2020 a year where you venture outside of your comfort zone to explore new skills and deepen your existing passions with Skillshare's online classes. Click on the link in the description box below to get two free months of premium membership to start exploring outside of your comfort zone. After that, it's only around $10 a month, which is incredibly affordable compared to what you would have to pay to learn these skills in an in-person class. This week, I've decided to take their creative nonfiction class hosted by Suzanne Orlean, who is a staff writer at The New Yorker. I want to improve my writing skills so that I can create better content for you guys down the line. And I definitely recommend you guys to check this class out. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.